What's up, you guys? Today we're getting custom swords in Beat Saber. So they've just updated the game to include some new songs that you can purchase, but because we're playing on PC, sorry to all you Quest users, we don't have to buy these extra songs. We can just download them using Mod Assistant. Uh, so I'll go over how to get Mod Assistant real quick in this video. And if you already have it, you can skip ahead, but let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the link to this GitHub in the description. If you don't have Mod Assistant already, you can come here, click on the download here, scroll down, and the only one you need to download is the modassistant.exe. Uh, if you already have Mod Assistant already set up and downloaded, you can open up your modassistant.exe file. Uh, if you just downloaded it on the intro page, you just have to click on I agree, and down here it'll say you can now use the mods tab, which is this purple one. We'll click into the mods tab, and Saber Factory is the new one that lets you do custom sabers. Uh, it's pretty cool now you can actually create your own swords in the game which is very neat but you can also download them from other websites like b saber so uh, we'll just click on saber factory you can click install or update it'll install all the mods or update all the mods that you have mine are all the ones with the green they have the uninstall option on the side uh, once it's done installing you can close that and we can go over to b saber.com saber i'll leave a link for this in the description as well uh, if you just want to download sabers from some that other people have made. So I think the diamond staff looks pretty neat. I'm just going to click download. You might be able to click install and have it go right to your games folder, but I'm not going to trust that. I'll just let this do its thing. Uh, I'm going to show in folder. It'll just go to your downloads folder. So I'm going to cut this out of here. And then we're going to go to our Beat Saber game. So it's in my Steam folder. Uh, Steam, where am I at here? Steam apps next, common, and then into your Beat Saber game. Uh, if you don't have a folder in here called Custom Sabers, capital C, capital S, and Sabers, uh, just create one and then you can open it up and I'll paste my Saber that I have in there, the Tote Diamond Staff Saber. And from inside the game, on the left screen where it used to have the patch notes, there'll be a mods tab. You can go into there, into the Saber factory, and in the very top right, you'll see custom sabers where you can use the ones that we've downloaded into that folder. And you can also use that tool to create your own sabers. Okay, so from inside Beat Saber, we're gonna go over to the left tab here and click on the mods down to Saber Factory next. And once we're in Saber Factory, we see we've got the nice pedestal holding our custom saber. And if we look over to the very top right, it'll see custom sabers. This is where the sabers that we've added to our game folder will be. We can select anyone that we like and then just press OK at the bottom or done. And when you load up your game now, uh, your custom sabers are going to be in your hands, ready to go. And it's just that easy, you guys. So enjoy using your new custom sabers, making your own custom sabers. Make sure you send me the coolest sabers you create. I'll use them in future videos. And if this helped you at all, like, subscribe, leave me a comment with any other videos you'd like to see in the future, and I'll see you next time.